Hi everybody, today we're here at a Korean barbecue celebrating our five year wedding anniversary. And we're gonna be doing something a little bit different today. We are going to be making Hershey's s'mores. Thanks to Hershey's for sponsoring today's video and sharing them with people around us to celebrate our love. Fifth year anniversary, so we're just gonna give out some s'mores yes. in celebration of that. This one. Thank you. Thank you. I gave you the good one. Are you guys also a couple? Yes. 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 How long have you guys been together? We've known each other for like ten years. Wow. Oh, we've known each other for about. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Oh. I haven't had this in years. <laughs> this is yeah. really so freaking good. Mm. Yeah, we actually we roasted them right right here. What do you want? You want me to put this on top? Yeah, let's put it right on top. Put the put the uh, boogie, boogie on. on? Yeah. It, I, I'm sure this is gonna taste like delicious. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that looks so delicious. All right. Tell me what that tastes like. No, right, you take the bite first. So pick up some Hershey's to make s'mores this summer. And make some memories with your family, your friends, and your neighborhood community. So Joe, I have a question for you. Yeah. How did you know that me, Elena Mays, I was the one and only for you forever and ever, and ever and ever, and ever? That's a simple question that I can draw out. <laughs> How did I know you were the one? Okay. Well, I didn't rec I didn't realize this, but I think it's a trick question when people say when you find the one, you know what I mean? Like there's that person specifically for you. I realized that you have to see the person as the one. You know? Like you have to see the person in front of you as like a gift. Mm -hmm. You know, God placed this person in front of you as a gift. And you embrace it by empower by identifying that that's that's the gift provided for you and you're also the gift for that person. You know? So I, I had to embrace that. I had to embrace that you were not just an opportunity, but you were a gift at that moment for me. And I had to embrace the opportunity and the moment by allowing myself to say, hey, like, I'm enough for you. Or I can be enough for you. <laughs> I mean, I'm more than enough for you. I'm more than enough. I'm too much. <laughs> But how did you know that I was the one? You're chewing in my ear. <laughs> okay, how did I know I wanted to marry you? That's the question I'm gonna answer. When we were together, we were talking and stuff, like, just like you said, it's just the first time that I've been in a relationship where, where number one, we can both praise be thankful to God for this stuff, you know, talk to each other about our faith and help each other in that, grow stronger in that faith, you know. And I just haven't have had been able to do that with anyone and I didn't really even, even though I was thinking about it like by myself, my own journey, it didn't really come up with another person before. Yeah, so. like I think this was like maybe the first that I ever had like a faith building relationship. Not just a Christian relationship, but yeah. something that built your spirit yeah. up that wasn't, you know, because like the spirit is what matters, you know? Mm -hmm. Our bodies, we, we get hurt, but, you know, yeah. we prepare ourselves, but our spirit is just like, yeah. And I think just me and you just wanted the, the same types of things, just in general for our life. And the foundation behind that was the same. So to me, like I knew like with that, we could 
Like we could have a long lasting marriage, you know? Other than like our foundation and God stuff, you know? I just think that you're a really nice, good person and you have a nice heart for people because, you know, Christianity and religion does have something to do with it, but how do you know, you know, you, you can tell people by like what they do, the things they do and what they say and I don't know, I just felt like you have a good heart and you have a lot of passion for things and I like that, you know. I feel like I have a lot of passion for things and I want to be with someone who has that same amount of passion. And what the are my passion. Passions? Joseph, I already know what your passions are. You might not know what they are, but I know what they are. Your passions are me and anything where you can express yourself I feel like and that it's like no boundaries on the ability to do that when we were in the process of trying to figure out if remarriage was okay um, the key factor that I knew that our relationship would work and like I, I would allow myself to dedicate my life to you and our marriage is I didn't I didn't even know what marriage really was. Yeah. You know I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what what, what it represented. I didn't know that. Um, I just didn't know. I just yeah. didn't know what marriage was. Once I, I recognized that marriage was actually a ministering opportunity mm-hmm. that like like share your faith by being married. And by, by, and from, I know you, you might think that's the outside people, but I think like from ministering opportunity to each other. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like how we as friends and as people can show each other, how I can show you God's love and how you can show that to me. Yeah. Okay, so the way I approached it was okay, I care about this person so much that I'm willing to wake up and go to sleep with them every day and show them God's love or minister to them in a way that like, okay, um, this is how God's love is supposed to be shown or this is how Jesus loved the church. I think one of the things that you didn't say is though, like, wake up every morning and show them God's love even though it might not be the thing that you want to do, you know? So there's... Say that again? I'm saying, like... And waking up and showing them, like, you know, being able to... I, well, number one, I feel like that type of thing, like being able to show your partner God's love or somebody that is best answered in marriage, like it's best shown in marriage. But I also just think, like, you're saying, like, I love you so much that I'm willing to go through this kind of struggle with myself to be able to just give that to you, you know? I mean, when I think of just love in general, I think of serving and sacrifice. Yeah. Um, it might not be pretty, you know, but I think because I was willing to go through the process with you, because I think that you empowered me by showing me what, I guess, um, being honest with myself. Because in the past I've had relationships, but we didn't really ever talk about things that really mattered, like eternity. And I mean, we did identify as Christians in our past, in my, in most of my past relationships, but I didn't always identify with like, okay, like, like, Okay, so we're Christians, so we, 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 we made it, we won for our own selves. Right. You know, but it was never meant to be, like our relationship with Christ was never meant to be um, for us. You know what I mean? It wasn't meant to be just done for us. 
One of the things that I feel like led us to each other and what, uh, for just a lot of people and having a successful relationship is just being open. Being open to people and their, their mistake, the, everything that comes with that person, you know? The way they might, you know, I have a, some friends who might be like, I'll be like, what about this person for you? And they'll immediately be like, no, you know? But I think that, and if you go into that mindset while you're dating and take that into a relationship, a person, there'll be a lot of no's that you can say even yeah. while you're married, you know? Too many no's that you can say while you're married. Yeah. So, why not? So, yeah, so and I just think like- to identify it, like, you know, if, like, the question is like, can God do this? Can God put these two people together? Yeah. You know, and if it's like, no, then you're basically saying that, you're basically saying a couple of things. You're saying miracles can happen. Mm -hmm. um, you know the answers to relationships. You know how things get start and end. And you don't really know that, you know? Yeah. But I, I think definitely when you're open to the possibility and you apply your faith to a relationship, mm -hmm. like fully, then it can work. Anything can work. Or I mean, not just not work. anything. It's not just not, never mind. Work. No. Like, it's not just it can work, but you know, it, it will flourish. I believe that yeah. every relationship has the opportunity to flourish. flourish yeah. Well, thank you for being such a great husband in these five years and for helping me. What did you help me with? I'm trying to think. I felt like I helped you. I helped you more than you helped me. Your entire future. I turned your life around. <laughs> Thanks to Hershey's for sponsoring this video.